Hi, Ron here from Military Images Magazine with a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. Today's story starts with the photograph here. I want you to notice the cut corners. If you've looked at Civil War paper images, known as cartes de visite, the baseball card size format that was all the rage during the Civil War, you may notice that a number of these images have cut corners. Have you ever wondered why? Who did it? What was the purpose of that? Why were these corners trims? Sometimes they're even trimmed far beyond this uh, example here. So if you'd wondered why, if it has occurred to you to think, who did all that cutting? Um, why did they destroy uh, this image? Well, I'm going to give you the answer. Let's take a look at this photograph album that I found in a antiques mall, in an antiques mall yesterday. It's a great, it's a great album. It's from the Civil War period. And if you look inside, you will see something that is fairly rare because it doesn't typically exist uh, beyond the original purchaser of the album who would oftentimes remove this insert. The words in the insert tell you all you need to know. It says, notice, be particular to trim the pictures the size of this card before inserting. Otherwise, the album will be injured and the clasps prevented from catching. The back of the card gives you another warning. Trim the pictures the size of this card before inserting in the album. In this particular case, it has an advertisement for the album seller who happened to be out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So there's the answer to the question. Um, the people who cut these carts to visite were actually the original owners because they were being told by the manufacturers of the albums. Now, two points that I want to make in addition to this. Uh, one is these albums, if you've ever handled them, you can get a sense of how rigid the pages are. They're very tight and the actual area where you insert the photograph is so slim, it's really difficult to fit the images in there. So you might think, why didn't these album manufacturers improve the technology and make it so that it would be easier to slip in the images without bending the image or tearing the page? Well, that is a bit of a mystery. Clearly, these early albums from the 1860s did not have any technical solution. So, manufacturers mindful that the albums, these beautiful albums might be destroyed, uh, had this note inside of them to warn folks to make sure that they cut the photograph to preserve the quality of the album. The other note that I want to make is collectors of photography, we emphasize the image itself and we pour over the content in the image. We look at every bit of inscription. All of the identifying elements of a photograph are part of our study. This image, these images are what are important to us. However, if you were a person alive during the Civil War, yes, that image was absolutely incredibly important to you. But the actual end game, the final destination of that photograph was the album. And that album was of supreme importance because that album was going to be on the parlor table. It was going to be in some special place, maybe a smaller album carried by a person. And the arrangement of those images, the selection of those images, the curation of those images by the album owner, that was the ultimate expression of photography, not the individual images, which were mere components of the album. So if you look at it through that perspective, 
the image in a way, the individual, the single image is less important. It's the album that rules the day. And so if you have to make some cuts, if you want to preserve one item uh, so that it is not injured at all, it's the album, not the photograph. So there you go. That's my research tip. The next time you are in an antique shop or a mall, an antiques mall, uh, uh, a Civil War show or shopping online and get those images and see those cut corners, there's a definitive answer. So take care. And until the next episode, happy trails.